Hi everyone, welcome to the accumulation data analysis for 17th of May. So the last week uh, I did not record for 16th as well as 17th but both were very good days and even on 18th we had uh, trading that is probably because uh, they want to test both the servers right and also since Monday the election thing was that is today what they did is uh, probably have one more session on Saturday right so we'll uh, we'll not take the Saturday's data because hardly two hours of uh, uh, trading happened and usually on a Saturday even the FIS will not be that active so we'll not get the real picture so based on what we saw on 17th that is Friday we'll analyze what happened how the data looks and which sectors or whether the mid cap or the small caps that look really good for the coming week right so let's get started so the India VIX right it kind of almost did a retest of the breakout right and it is again back at the 20 mark uh, looks like this big um, uh, hammer that is kind of formed right maybe it can go to touch that 24 levels which I've been constantly telling right uh, as we head closer to the election results that is quite common because even in the previous uh, election results it went up to that 24 25 mark so nothing to really worry but I think uh, the initial two phases the data wasn't that great data in the sense the probably the exit polls which the FI has kind of sensed I guess and because of which the selling was there but after phase 3 4 the market kind of has uh, cooled off in the sense there is no aggressive selling that is happening and we are seeing a pretty decent bounce back also happening. So now looking at the FII DI activity, the FIIs on Friday went out there and bought, which they weren't doing for the last almost 9-10 sessions. They were continuously selling and on May 17, they actually went ahead and bought almost 1600 crores of shares, right? And even in the futures data, probably they have uh, covered their shorts, right? A little buying happened in the futures as well. So looks like uh, in the coming days there might be a decent up move because what has happened is all the indices in the US have hit, hit all time high the Dow the S&P 500 and the Nasdaq there has been a pretty decent melt up rally that is going on right before the rate cut actually happens probably in the month of September the rate cut might happen so uh, looking at that the rally has already started all the indices are moving up so even India uh, is kind of following them and moving higher right so that is the reason since the FIS kind of bought it here right the small and the mid caps also did very well on Friday as well as on Saturday right so you can see the trend that from 16 that is on Thursday it started cooling off little Friday it became uh, positive so Saturday's data will not really consider because hardly two hours of session right now coming to the nifty and so if you look at the large cap accumulation for both 16th and 17th it has kind of moved higher probably because 17th there was even FI buying that happened right because of which the data kind of looks good even in the large caps the trend is up there as well. So if you look at intraday what happened so on 16th we had a pretty decent move and on 17th we kind of remained flat and even yesterday in the 2 hour trading session right we just remained flat right. So looks like the FIS have again started pushing in money here probably they are now sensing that there is going to be a uh, whatever result they were hoping for is that is kind of coming out pro so probably that is the reason why you are seeing buying coming back again so if you look at the daily chart so it has again come back in the range chances are it will again go to the halfway mark probably around 22,800 it might see a little resistance once that is taken out probably 23,000 is where we should head right so it looks good even the large cap data and the charts they look good and even the FNO data for the FIS they look good unless they kind of again start selling it would become a little bad but as of now things look decent for the large caps as well. So the best performing sector, the real estate sector, the reality that is has kind of broken out into new highs on 17th, right? And it is inching even higher. Probably it might come back to retest, but things look good even in the real estate sector with the sales continuously being strong and the, the stocks also posting very good results as well. 
right now coming to the bank nifty the bank nifty also continues moving higher right so this uptrend might last as long as we see all the global markets also doing well right usually when that happens the fis also don't sell big and the, that could be the reason why we are seeing a decent up move in the bank nifty as well so if the trend continues if the data remains good like the fno data and all of that we can again go back up to hit the all time high or near there right around the result if the results are as expected or stronger than what the market expected so now coming to the mid cap analysis so the mid caps not really much of an improvement on 16th or either 17th right kind of remain flat but I, if you remember i was pretty bullish on the mid cap uh, index right so the mid cap index has finally hit that all time high and even closed higher than that so if you look at the last three candles 16 17 18 it has taken out that uh, all time high level that was there and it has closed even higher than that right uh, around a percent higher than the all time high so this was clearly visible from the data and from the price action that the mid caps were the stronger one amongst the nifty as well as the small caps so this continues to be good but now the data is kind of becoming a little slow and for the small caps it is kind of improving you will see the small cap or data as well but as of now probably uh, money is kind of being uh, shifted from the mid caps to the small caps and probably the the run might be better in the small caps in the coming days so we'll first look at the distribution data so the distribution is kind of around the same level nothing much to really uh, worry about because last time when we saw a distribution happening we almost hit that 180 200 kind of mark before things started coming down now it is around that 150 range so like i have told you can't have just accumulation or just distribution there are going to be stocks that are getting accumulated there are going to be stocks that are being distributed so we just need to focus on those where the accumulation is good and since it has become a stock specific market there are going to be decent moves coming in the stocks where the accumulation is also pretty good now coming to the small cap analysis so the small caps had a big bump up in the accumulation especially on 17th right so if you look at the 17th data that is probably uh, best after the second data uh, may seconds data right so looking at that what i feel is now that the mid caps have already rallied and hit that all time high crossed above that there is not going to be much selling that is going to come in in the mid caps probably it can smoothly continue moving higher but whereas the small caps have a resistance so if you look at the small caps it is so this the last candle is on the 18th but on 17th the data was very strong with that big green candle that was made right so looks like now as we head into that all time high resistance the data is very strong suggesting that we can easily go past this resistance that is there and move even higher than that right so for the coming week the small caps would be the index or the small cap stocks where the accumulation is good would be my go to trades right mid caps still few stocks are in very good accumulation so there it makes sense to play those stocks but preferably uh, new trades would be in the small cap segment where the data is also strong and even the index looks like it is going to hit all time high right hopefully this helps probably i'll make another video after tomorrow's session right looking at how the data and the charts are looking like right hopefully this helps thank you